welcome to my room makeover video this is the final video of the moving series i know it took me forever i'm so sorry this was filmed over the span of five months so bear with me if this video is just messy but we're gonna start this video off literally a few days after i moved into this place so let's get into it We're about to start my bedroom makeover. My room is a disaster right now, so we really need to get started. I have clothes laying all over the floor in trash bags, but now it's time to hang them all up. Before we do that though, let's do a quick room tour. So this is what it looks like when you walk in my room. Right here, I just have this shoe rack so far, and I definitely need to clean up the shoes that are on it and just make it look a little nicer. I'm gonna just ignore all of the mess and give you guys a tour of the actual space first. So then we have this cute little cutout in the wall that I put my bed in because it just looks super cozy. My my bedding is from Jerf Avenue and then my actual bed is from Ikea and so are my nightstands and then we move over here and I have my little Amazon fan this dresser is probably not gonna stay I want to get like a bigger one and then put it right here over here we have my vanity definitely not decorated yet obviously but I do have my little lamp on it so I can get ready and then we have my closet let me close this mirror so you guys can see how much this just like opens up the space this makes the room look huge and it already is a really big room also I did kind of do like an apartment tour in my move-in vlog if you want to see that but this closet is so big it's probably twice as big as i thought it was going to be from the pictures there's these three shelves up here we are going to fully organize my closet in this video i also just lit my first candle in this apartment because i just want it to smell like me and like my home you know what i mean it's kind of had that like new slash empty apartment smell for the past few days and i just need it to like feel more like home even though it already does feel like home but like smell like home I guess anyways let's get started on putting clothes up in my closet because that way we can just clear some floor space we'll worry about everything else later we're gonna go through a ton of stuff we're gonna organize under my bed closet vanity nightstands we'll get my new dresser together hopefully shoes literally everything you guys are gonna come along the whole process so let's get started dresses are done unless I find any more in the other bags but I think that was everything so we're gonna take a little coffee break Here is the trash bag situation. We only have three left, but we have made a bunch of progress on my closet, which is nice. It is like full though. It is very full. All the dresses are hung up. I put the short dresses on these little hangers that save space, and then the long dresses are just by themselves. I put a bunch of bags up here. I'm actually thinking I wanna go to the dollar store and get bins for my closet. picking up where we left off. I got these baskets from Home Goods yesterday. Also, I went thrifting yesterday and I got this really cool jewelry box. So it opens like this and then there's a drawer on the bottom and I just feel like it looks so cool. And I've been needing a new way to organize my jewelry. So this is gonna be perfect. It's gonna go on my new dresser whenever I order it, which I should probably just order it now. I actually have one picked out. So I might as well just get it. I did want the Malm dresser from Ikea, but it was gonna be like $90 to deliver it and I was not about to pay that just for the shipping and I just know it would be a pain to build so I'm just gonna get something a little bit cheaper. I like the look of this one. It's kind of similar to the mom one but it has legs and I think it might even be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna measure really quick and make sure that it's a good size and if it is I am going to place the order because I don't know why I'm waiting. With big purchases like this I feel like I always am super hesitant to like pull the trigger even if I know it's something that I want which is honestly better than just being an impulsive spender but still I need to just order it because I know I want it and that way I can get this video up quicker for you guys for now let's start working on the baskets and getting things up on the shelves in my closet really want to do right now is just get these shoes off the ground and figure out which ones are going to stay on the shoe rack and which ones aren't. The rest are just going to go in my closet, so let's figure that out. Okay, 
Okay, so we are almost done with the decluttering part of the room makeover. So everything is either in nightstands, all of the stuff that was like sitting on the ground right here is now gone, which I'm so happy about. It actually feels so good to like have that out of the way. So now what I wanna do is organize my jewelry. So I have this little travel jewelry box full of all my jewelry right now. It's all just like stuffed in there. And then this little bag of a few more like random pieces of jewelry. So let's move this all into the box. dresser is built. Here is what it looks like. It's from Amazon. I will have it on my storefront. It actually wasn't that bad to build. I thought it was going to be way more complicated, but it was honestly fine. The only thing is the drawers are pretty shallow. I honestly think that these two dressers have kind of the same amount of storage, even though it doesn't look like it. These drawers are just so much deeper. I don't know. So basically what I'm thinking is I also keep this dresser, but just move it from that spot to over here. today but first I have a few updates for you guys. I did kind of like arrange my dresser a little bit more so I added a few decorations right here. This is from Target. This is thrifted. This is Ikea and then I added a few things over here to ignore what's in these baskets because I just don't know how I'm gonna decorate them yet. I need to get a necklace holder. That's on my list of things. I feel like my room has kind of just been on the back burner. I haven't been really prioritizing getting it done because I only really use it to sleep and get ready and another big thing is that I don't really have a clear vision for it. Like I don't know what I really want to do with my room. I'm kind of just throwing things together and I'm honestly not 100% satisfied with the way that it's turning out and I wish that I was. I just don't know what to do to fix it if that makes sense. Like my bed, I can't find the pillow covers that match this quilt. I had a duvet on before that was this print but it was just getting way too hot and this quilt is just so much lighter and more comfortable to sleep with so I'm using this for the summer but I can't find the pillowcases that go with it so I'm using the old ones that I was using and then also this cream blanket that I have right here just looks kind of like dingy and doesn't match the white. So I want to get a different blanket, ignore the pile of clothes. I also don't like the way that my nightstands are decorated. I kind of just threw them together within the first few days of being here and have not looked back. So I want to put some effort into making them cuter. But the next thing that I was going to show you guys is this lamp. So here's what it looks like. It's from Urban Outfitters. It was originally supposed to go in the living room, but it actually looked really bad in there. And the color of this wood really clashed. It's staying in here for now and I actually really love it. I feel like this placement really works. It just makes the whole room feel a little bit more mature, which I love. And then last update, you guys saw that I moved this dresser from over here where the shoe rack was to right here. I just switched the places of those two and I did not like this at first. I thought it looked really awkward, but now that I'm actually used to it, I really like it and I just really do need this storage. I will probably decorate this a little bit better. That's the room update for right now. Basically what I want to work on today is actually organizing my dresser. There's just random stuff in there right now. Now. So basically, I'm just gonna move a bunch of the stuff from these drawers into these ones. I feel like out of all of my room videos, this one is just gonna be the messiest because I really have no direction that I'm going in for this room. I'm kind of just like thinking of things along the way. So that's where we're at right now. Let's just get started on the dresser. a jewelry organizer. I got this on Amazon. I'm thinking this is where it will go on my dresser. Honestly, jewelry is 90% of the clutter on like any surface in my room. So I'm so excited to finally have a dedicated place for this. Let's start hanging stuff up. Let's catch up. It's been a while since I filmed the last clip. I have no idea what that was. I dyed my hair since then, which you guys have probably already seen. This video has taken so long to make and to figure out because decorating an apartment takes longer than you expect. I've been like noticing that something is just off about my room. There's something that I don't like about it and I could not figure out what, but I finally realized. So I decided to go on Pinterest and look at my apartment board where all the bedroom pictures would be. So I looked at all of those and I realized something 
that they all have in common is that they have like dainty nightstands. There's a spoiler in the back. <laughs> so ignore that for now. So first is that they all have like dainty nightstands where they're kind of open. They're not like big with a bunch of drawers and all that. A lot of them are just like little tables that don't even have any shelving, which I tried to find, but I couldn't, but we'll get to that. Anyways, the second thing I realized that I did not like about my room, which I have kind of known this one is my bedding. I have not been able to figure out a bedding situation that I like for the life of me. I finally took a minute to be like, okay, what are things that I don't like about my room and how can I fix them? Another thing is I feel like my vanity always looks messy because I have this little like mirror sitting out on it. I'll just show you guys. I always have stuff sitting right here from when I was getting ready. So I have this mirror. It's not ugly or anything, but it doesn't look nice and like mature. And so I made a really easy switch and I ordered this really pretty little standing mirror to go on my vanity that can just stay there. I don't have to put it away or worry about it looking bad or anything. You guys will see. This is probably not the best way of like explaining it, but I will show you. So that was a really easy switch of just taking something that I already have that was functional, but getting a new version of it that was also functional, but cute. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So I've just been collecting some things for this apartment. There's a couple more things coming in today. That mirror is coming in that I was just talking about. And then the other nightstand came in. So basically I ordered this one. I just ordered one to see if I would like it first and I built it and I do like it. I think it looks really cute, very much the vibe that I was searching for. So I ordered a second one that came in. We're gonna build that right now and then switch out this one. Let me show you the nightstands I had before. Just in case you forgot, this is the nightstand that was right there. And I feel like it looks like it should be in a dorm or something. And now this is just really cute. I haven't decorated it yet. So ignore like the stuff that's on the nightstand. We're gonna do that today. Like, don't get me wrong. This doesn't even look bad, but it just is like very bulky. It's just a lot. I want my room to look very like mature and sophisticated and like this is an adult's bedroom and not a child's bedroom and I feel like right now it looks like a child's bedroom. So that was my super long way of telling you guys what the plan is to finish my room. Also, I did get this Ikea lamp that I forgot to tell you guys about and it's gonna replace this one right here. There's other random things I wanna do like get this hung up. It's not July anymore. I need to change that. And then I also wanna put some wall art right here, maybe over here, literally just everywhere. I do want something cool to go over my bed. I feel like I've been talking for so long so we are going to get to building. Okay, the new nightstand is built and it's time to switch it out with the old one. I had to change because it was so hot in here. I had two fans going full blast right now. But anyways, here's what the nightstand looks like. Don't judge too hard yet because my bedding, I feel like is still throwing it off, but I feel like the nightstands just make it look a lot more simple and just a lot more cozy. So now we are gonna go ahead and decorate them. Okay, so I finished this nightstand and then for this one, all I did was move the salt lamp and the coaster a little bit and just throw a candle on there too. Here is the mirror upgrade. It just came in, but you guys see what I mean? Like this can just sit on my desk and look so nice while this one doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't look as good as this. So that is super cute. I am obsessed. Okay, I wanted to quickly film a little room update because some things are gonna change soon and I kind of want to just fill you guys in. There's also some random little changes that I've made that I didn't film, so I just wanted to show you guys those too. Keep in mind my room is messy right now, but I promise the vision is gonna come together. Starting off over here, ignore this stuff, but I ended up hanging the calendar over here on this wall, so it's kind of hidden. I can still see it when I wake up. It's no longer just leaning on the wall right here. And then I threw this together really quickly one day, all these little random decorations, and I actually love it. This lamp used to be on my nightstand before I switched it to the new one. It's not even plugged in over here because there's no outlet, but I just like the way this looks. Got some books, my jewelry holder, a little clip, a candle. I washed my sheets today and I am changing my bedding. So I got these sheets today at Target and I just washed them. So we're going to put those on and then I'm just going to put my duvet back on with the white cover because I just want it to look cozy. It's been getting a little bit colder. So we're getting rid of the quilt for now and using something a little bit cozier. Also, once again, my room is so messy, but I got this little shelf from Target that's going to go right here over my little shoe rack. And I'm really excited about it because I'm going to like prop some pictures on it, make it a really cute like decoration and then probably 
hang some purses from the little pegs. I found this little tray that I had, so I just put some perfume on it. And then my dresser is still kind of messy right now. I think I'm gonna swap this basket out for one that is this color, because I feel like, I don't know, it'll just look better. I think the yellow and the blue is throwing me off a little bit. So there might be some little changes to the dresser too. And then there's gonna be a collage wall above my bed. I actually put together all the pictures for it and stuff, which you guys might have already seen. And I'm gonna hang that up within the next few days. I'm really excited. Within the next few days, my room will really, really be coming together and I'm so excited for you guys to see. last step of my room makeover. So I'm currently sitting on this little trunk that I have in my room. It's just blue. I actually got sent this by Amazon Prime. I worked with them a while ago and they sent a very extravagant PR package. I've never received something like this in the mail before. I really didn't know what to do with this trunk so I just kept it for storage and I currently have a bunch of cleaning supplies in it like my vacuum, Swiffer, random stuff like that. But I personally do not think that it looks good in my room. I don't love the color of it. I feel like it just doesn't really match anything in here. So what I was going to do was paint it. But then I really thought about it and I was like, okay, it's probably not going to look that good if you paint it. Like I really don't think it will. I saw this bench in a TikTok and I was like, wow, that's so cute. So perfect for next to my bed because I really do think there needs to be something there. The box is in the way so you can't fully tell, but there is a really big gap between the end of my bed and then like the stuff over here, like my dresser. This is a really big room actually, but it's kind of weirdly shaped. So I thought that this looked nice right here to take up some space and use as storage but yeah the aesthetic of it is just not really like my thing and so I was like you know what why not order one of these so let's open it my gosh you guys when i tell you this like fully transformed my room oh my goodness i did not realize how much of a difference that was making i promise you in person it looks amazing this is from amazon i'm gonna have it linked along with everything else that i can possibly find in this video but it's this like sherpa material and it just looks so cozy but also like modern and sleek at the same time and then you can open it up and there's storage in here so this is gonna be so perfect it's honestly bigger than i was expecting i am just so excited about this it looks so so great. have no idea what I'm gonna do with that and no idea how I'm gonna get this down to the recycling, but we will deal with that later. I think the room makeover is done. Stay tuned for the tour. Com cabelos cor de mel singela Seu nome é Mabel Finally, time for the finished room tour. I actually really like the way that my room turned out. I'm very happy that I took my time and I figured out what I wanted because I feel like it paid off. So let's get into the tour. All right, so this is what you see when you walk in my bedroom. You look over here, you see my vanity and my dresser, and then we have my closet. But let's start over here. This is the very first thing you see. We have my little dresser that I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep or not, but I am so glad that I did. I definitely needed this storage and I feel like this is a perfect little fit for the space. I don't think I showed myself decorating it because 
this was just kind of like a spur of the moment type thing. So we have a little hair clip over here. I just love these flower hair clips. So I have a couple around my room. We have my necklace holder from Amazon, this little vase that I thrifted. I need to like put a flower in it or something. And then we have a bunch of books right here. I've always liked the look of books stacked on like a dresser like this, but I just never had a spot to do that. So I think that's really cute. And then I have my little lamp that used to be on my nightstand from Urban Outfitters and it is not plugged in. This is just for decoration. But I actually love the way that this dresser is decorated and I wish there was not a vent right here to like ruin that, but just pretend you don't see that. So moving on to my bed area. Over here, I actually have my calendar hung up. Again, I don't think I even showed this either. It's also just not even filled in. I don't really know why. I just haven't been needing it as much, but the calendar itself is from Target. I love these little like frames on the side that I just put some little pictures and stickers in and stuff like that. And then we have my nightstand. I feel like this one never got like fully, fully decorated because I still don't even love this situation, but I have my salt lamp. I have a little coaster. I have a candle. And then this is the remote for my TV. And then down here I have this little crate and it just has a lot of like bedtime stuff in it. I have medicine, lotion, stuff like that. And then we have my actual bed. You guys know I had trouble getting my bed situation figured out. I just could not decide on what I liked. I went back to my old white duvet cover, which I do want to switch this out for like a linen cream one at some point, but duvet covers are expensive, you guys. So I don't know when that'll happen, but I have some sheets on it from Target. My duvet cover and pillowcases are from Amazon. This little bunny is a Valentine's Day bunny from Target from like years ago. And then we have this cream blanket, which is from JCPenney. The actual bed itself is from Ikea. It has some drawers on the side. They're kind of hidden right now. And then it's empty on the other side. I think you can customize like how you want the drawers to be. And then I also have this little storage bench. So now we will move on to my little gallery wall. Also, I apologize for how dark it is in here. Usually at this time of day, it's like way brighter, but it is what it is. All right, let's see if I can remember where all the frames are from. Home goods, Amazon, thrifted, thrifted, Target, thrifted, home goods, thrifted. And all the pictures are pretty much just like from Pinterest and stuff. And now for this nightstand, you guys know the lamp is from Ikea. The nightstands themselves are from Amazon. I have my little coaster. And then I decorated this one with a little stack of books facing backwards because I wanted more of like a neutral look rather than like the spine sticking out. I wanted this room to feel mature, but I didn't want that to mean that there was just no color in here, that it was boring. I didn't want like that millennial gray type of look. I still wanted it to be very me, have pops of color, but still not seem like a teenager's room or a kid's room or something because I'm 21, you know, I'm not a teenager anymore, which is still kind of weird to me. I'm still processing that, but yeah, I wanted to have a room that reflected that. And I feel like this is pretty good. Honestly, I think the little storage bench makes a huge difference in how mature your room looks. I don't know. So moving on to the next part of the room, we have this little corner. This is where I get ready. I love this little part of my room. I got this little shelf from Target and I just decorated it with some little frames. Thrifted, Target, thrifted. I don't know where this is from. Oh, Princess Polly, Sunny Angel. This picture I took, this is from Pinterest. And this one I made myself. Just has like some letters that friends have written me, some stickers, some Polaroids, just like the cutest little collage. And it actually is just super meaningful to me. And then we have my purses hanging right here. I think that this is so cute. This is such a nice way to display purses. I absolutely love purses. If you know me at all, you know that. So I love this little shelf. And then below it, we have this shoe rack. This is from Marshalls or no, Marshalls or Home Goods. I can't remember. Basically the same thing. And then we have my fan right here. I absolutely have to sleep with a fan on. And I thought might as well have my fan be cute if it's going to be in my room. So I got this pink one from Amazon and I love it. Moving on to my my TV. So this is my LG Stand By Me. It's technically not a TV. It's like a portable screen. I actually did a whole video on this if you guys want to go check that out if you're interested in this. And I talked about like all its features and stuff like that. I really like it. I use it every day. You can move it around, but I just always keep it like plugged in right here. I think this would be so perfect for a studio apartment because you could have this be your main TV, but you could use it in bed. You could use it on the couch. You could use it in the kitchen, like wherever you want. And you don't really have to have like a TV stand because I feel like that can be hard to like figure out in a studio. So I would recommend this. All right, now we are at the vanity. My vanity is from Ikea. I love this vanity. I think it's so girly, so cute. I have a little cushion on the chair that's red and I like that pop of color that it adds. And then on it, we have these little like drawers and on top of them, I put my little lamp, this little trinket box that one of my best friends got me and a sunny angel. We have another one of my Amazon coasters. Now we have my little perfume tray, which I love. The tray itself is from Amazon. We have have this perfume from like Mix Bar or something like that. It's like a coconut perfume. This one is YSL Glossier. And then this is a hair oil, but it smells amazing. We have another Sunny Angel over here. And then this little framed print that I found on Pinterest. It's so hard to see with the glare. 
sorry about that. It's super cute though. And then the frame itself is from JCPenney. We have my little acrylic trash can from the container store. And then we have my dresser. I'm so sad that the sun is not like at its peak in here right now. I was trying to strategically plan when to film and I thought I did good, but I missed it. Anyways, my dresser is from Amazon. I believe the brand is Walker Edison. We have this little vase that I thrifted with some fake tulips in it. These are from Amazon. This is like one of my favorite parts of my room, honestly. This little dish is also thrifted as well as the jewelry box. We have another sunny angel, a little candle, this candles from Target, and then this picture frame that is thrifted, but I just printed out some cute little pictures to put in it. And then we have my little selenite bowl with some crystals, my disco ball. This is like actually a candle holder that I thrifted, but I just didn't have another candle to put in it. So I'm using it as a little display. This cute little frame that my old roommate got for me for my birthday. I love it. It just has these two little hearts. This little pumpkin candle. This is from Target. I have another sunny angel. And then this crate with a ton of random stuff in it. Honestly, ignore the inside of it. This is kind of like my junk crate, I guess. We have another one of my little hair clips and then a candlestick from Target. And we have this lamp from Urban Outfitters that is super cute. It's the one that was supposed to go in my living room, but just did not look good in there. And then we have my closet, which is just these two giant mirrors, which I love because I feel like this opens up the room super nicely. I'll show you guys the inside, but please don't judge because it's super messy. I'm going to do a closet clean out soon, promise. But I feel like it's only fair to show you guys what the inside is looking like right now because you did see me putting all the clothes in it when this video first started. The other side pretty much looks the same, but yeah, it's not the most organized, honestly. But that is it for my room tour. I can't believe that this video is finally, finally being finished. Again, I really do like the way that it turned out. I'm very happy with it. If you wanna know where anything is from or if you want links to anything, it's probably in the description or you can comment down below. But that's it for this video. The moving series is complete. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I had so much fun decorating everything in my apartment. If you haven't seen the other ones, go watch those videos because those are definitely some of my favorites. And yeah, that's about it. If you stayed up until this point, comment a tulip emoji. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.